the main Wing Chun fighting strategy, traditional Wing Chun fighting strategy, is you watch the elbow, just watch one point, control the elbow, control just one point, and fight on the blind side, right? Because you fight on the blind side, you control the elbow, and you've got the leverage advantage. And then when you control the elbow from the blind side, and you got because you control with the hand, so your arm, your arm distance is longer, much longer than the elbow to the shoulder distance of your opponent. So that is the whole idea about uh, winning strategy for fighting Wing Chun. So from here, check and strike, right? Yeah, check on here, and then you push up, and then you come down is the elbow, right? And then you steady, stabilize, stabilize this point here. That's, that's one point we want. Later on, we extend it to three or four points, right? But let's do, right? So check, right? So, so you're using your own arm that you step out a little bit, check, and then you come down and then you stabilize and then you strike this point here. Okay? We know that force only got one direction and if you deflect the force, then the force is already deflected. Then you can use that split second to control the elbow is to put yourself in the position at an angle at an angle so that you can control the elbow and uh, strike with both arms at the, uh, you know control with one arm strike with one arm and control with the other arm strike with the other arm so you can use both arms at the same time in fact one of the very um, uh, very important thing is when you turn right, you step with the left foot if you put your heel out. When you turn left, you step with the right foot. Right? Yeah. Right. So you always adjust the other foot. Right? Okay? Yeah. So you go from here. Right? Okay. Yeah. The Joe Rogan experience. So what are you doing? Are you doing Kung Fu? Like, is it a very particular, particular uh, tr style? Traditional Wing Chun. Kung really? Fu, yeah. Which is... Um, very underrated art form. Yes. Also, so many trade secrets and so different than how I see it when I'm looking at videos in that in UFC, everything is out in the open and it's discussed and you see in a lot of the the Eastern stuff there was a uh, turf wars and we're not really going to show them mm -hmm. our footwork we're not going to do this so but anyway it's been a real deep dive with my sifu eric oram who's sifu my sigung is uh grandmaster william chung renowned kind of hong kong rooftop fights all that stuff amazing lore but very technical difficult to build and easy to use you know, uh, it's, you very rarely see that in the UFC. But one of the best fighters in the UFC uses it regularly. Tony, uh, Tony Ferguson. Tony Ferguson uses trapping hands. He he grabs wrists and comes over the top with elbows. He does straight Wing Chun. He does it all the time. And he even practices on a wooden, wooden dummy. Yeah. The Mook Jung. Yeah. yeah. I got my ass kicked by a wooden dummy for about three years. And then I finally understood the principle of uh, don't fight force with force and uh, you know it, it, it's just nuts so anyway half the time if I would be in a, a critical artistic situation I would just say because um, Wing Chun problems are life problems life problems are Wing Chun problems and I would just go back to how did this kind of relate to because I don't like getting clocked and getting my teeth knocked in because we tend to sometimes we glove up but we're not wearing mouthpieces it's very uh 
Why are you wearing a mouthpiece? It's certainly not because he's very good at pulling his punches and he's also even better at making sure that I don't accidentally hit him. But we get as close as, as we can to what the, the real uh, experience would be. But again, it's like everything. I'm sure, uh, you know, a few clicks back down the road, there's things that instructors were doing that would be considered illegal to do to a group of students nowadays. Yeah, for sure. So not just a few clicks while I was coming up. That's what I, that's yeah. what I would imagine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there's yeah, they'd hit each other. Yes, <laughs> the students would get beat up. Yes. it was a normal thing. Yes. 